I'm Natsuko Onishi from Kyoto University Graduate School of Medicine. I'm going to present the brief summary of the recent publication in JMRI entitled Ultrafirst Dynamic Contrast Enhanced MRI of the Breast Using Compressed Sensing Breast Cancer Diagnosis Based on Separate Visualization of Breast Arteries and Veins. Breast MRI has become an established modality for the identification of breast cancer. The diagnosis of breast MRI is mainly based on morphological variation and kinetic curve assessment in standard clinical practice, and the sensitivity is very high. However, the specificity varies widely across studies and remains only moderate in meta-analysis. As a completely different approach to diagnose breast cancer, previous studies have demonstrated an increased breast vascularity associated with epithelial breast cancer. One of the limitations in these previous reports using conventional dynamic contrast enhanced MRI was the long scan time required for acceptable spatial resolution, and it was not possible to differentiate breast arteries from veins. Therefore, global vessels were evaluated. Recently, ultrafast dynamic contrast enhanced breast MRI has been developed using various accelerated methods. Compared to the conventional DC MRI, ultrafast DC MRI can dramatically shorten the whole breast scanning while preserving the high enough spatial resolution. Compressed sensing is a relatively new accelerated method applied to ultrafirst DC breast MRI. The aims of this study were to evaluate the feasibility of ultrafirst DC MRI using CS for the separate identification of breast arteries and veins, and to perform temporal evaluations of these with focus on the association with epithelial breast cancers. We retrospectively identified female patients who underwent ultrafirst DC MRI between December 2015 and March 2016. In total, 25 female patients met the inclusion criteria. MRI images of these 25 patients with 49 breasts were included in this study. Each of the breasts was classified into three categories, breasts with cancers, breasts with benign regions, and breast with no regions. Ultrafirst DC MRI was performed as part of the hybrid protocol with conventional DC MRI using a 3D scanner and an 18 channel breast coil. We scanned 20 continuous frames, the first of which serving as pre scan. The temporal resolution was 3.65 seconds per frame. Ultrafirst DC MRI was performed using a work-in-progress prototype based on 3D vibe without fat saturation, using the variable density sampling in the phase encoding frame obeying the Gaussian distribution combined with CS reconstruction. CS reconstruction took about 20 minutes for each case. Using the Ultrafirst DC MR images composed of 20 frames, Subtraction images were obtained by subtracting the first frame from each of the second to twentieth frame. From these subtraction images, 19 MIP images for each breast were reconstructed. Two independent readers evaluated the MIP images. They identified the ordinal number of the earliest frame in which breast artery and vein were respectively visualized as timing A and timing B. The time interval between arterial and venous visualization was defined as EV interval and calculated by timing B minus timing A. In the 49 breast, 16 breasts with cancers, 15 breasts with benign regions, and 18 breasts with no regions were identified. The ICCs between the two readers were all excellent. Of the 49 breasts, 39 breasts presented successful identification of both arteries and veins. In the remaining 10 breasts, 
Only arteries were visualized and veins were not visualized during the first 60 seconds after contrast injection were not separately identified from arteries. 100% of the breasts with cancers presented successful identification of both arteries and veins. Dot plots of timing A and timing B in each category are shown in the figure. Timing A distributes almost similar way across the categories, but timing B tends to be larger for breasts with no lesions or benign lesions. Comparison of the AV intervals among the three categories are shown in the figure. The AV intervals for breasts with cancers were significantly shorter than those for breasts with benign lesions and no lesions. Let's look at the representative cases. Arteries are pointed by white arrowheads and veins by black arrowheads. In this case, arteries emerge in the 8th frame, veins in the 10th frame, and the AV interval is 2 frames, which means about 7 seconds. The mass was an invasive ductal carcinoma. Let's look at another case. In this case, arteries emerge in the 9th frame, veins in the 15th frame, and the AV interval is 6 frames, which means about 22 seconds. The mass was a fiber adenoma. In this study, Ultrafirst DC MRI using CS enabled high temporal resolution approximately 60 times the speed of conventional DC MRI. At the same time, it provided a high enough spatial resolution for the visualization of breast vessels. The high temporal and high spatial resolutions enabled the separate identification of breast arteries and veins, which is practically impossible with conventional DC MRI. Tumor vasculature has the potential to form shunts, which are short, low resistance, and high flow pathways. This chanting may provide an explanation for the shorter AV intervals in breasts with cellular cancers. Ultrafirst DC MRI using CS has another potential application. Previous studies using Ultrafirst DC MRI in very early phase, I mean the time period from 0 to 60 seconds after contrast injection, reported the diagnostic utility of kinetic parameters of breast lesions. The early phase has also been reported to be suitable for the detection of enhancing regions, and the proposed protocol, named abbreviated breast MRI, is generating a lot of attention. So, if out of first DC MRI using CS replaces conventional DC MRI in the future, these assessments might be achieved within much shorter time than the current clinical standard leading to further development of breast MRI for both diagnostic and screening purpose. In conclusion, this preliminary study demonstrated the feasibility of atrophous DC MRI using CS for the separate identification of breast arteries and veins. Temporal evaluations calculating the time interval between arterial and venous visualization can enable the differentiation of ipsilateral breast cancers from benign lesions. That is all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.